In today's video, I will have a look at the difference between the market and the location-based approach in accounting for greenhouse gas emissions from electricity use. Hi, I'm Barbara Albert, the co-CEO of 100% Renewables, a consultancy specializing in the development of climate action strategies. In carbon accounting, one of the most important and largest sources of emissions is the consumption of electricity which is accounted for under Scope 2. According to the Scope 2 guidance of the Greenhouse Gas Protocol, there are two distinct methods for Scope 2 accounting, which are both useful for different purposes. The methods used to calculate and report Scope 2 emissions impact how you assess your performance and what mitigation actions are incentivized. When used together, they can provide a fuller documentation and assessment of risks, opportunities and changes to emissions from electricity consumption over time. Let's have a look at the location-based method. This method reflects the average emissions intensity of the grid based on your company's location. This method allows you to calculate emissions that you are physically emitting to the atmosphere so if your business is located in a jurisdiction which is 100% renewable such as the Australian Capital Territory, you will still have to apply the grid emissions factor from New South Wales as you are getting your electricity from New South Wales power plants. The location-based method does not allow for any claims of renewable electricity from grid imported electricity use. The only way you can reduce electricity emissions using the location-based approach is to site your business in an area where electricity from the grid has lower emissions such as in Tasmania or in New Zealand to reduce your electricity consumption or to install behind the meter renewable energy systems such as solar panels. Buying renewables is not recognized under the location-based method. Now let's have a look at the market-based method. The market-based method reflects the emissions that you are responsible for from the electricity you buy, which may be different from the electricity that is generated locally. This method derives emissions factors from contractual instruments, such as the purchase of green power, renewable energy certificates, or bundled renewable energy power purchase agreements. It uses a residual mix factor to allow for unique claims on the zero emissions attribute of renewables without double counting. Under the market-based approach, you can reduce your electricity-based emissions by being more energy efficient, by installing on-site renewables and shifting your electricity supply to renewables. You can choose which method total, market-based, location-based or both, to use for performance tracking and you must disclose this in your greenhouse gas emissions inventory. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please consider subscribing to our channel and thank you very much for watching.